And we are rolling the ball up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. Good morning, Jonathan. And down to the wrist. And up to the knuckles and across. I'm going to do the fingers this morning. So let's grab it between the thumb and the fourth finger and press. And the middle finger. Ring finger. And pinky. Other hand, index. Ring. No, middle, middle. Boy, I don't know why I <laughs> messed that up so often. Middle finger. Ring. And pinky. Yeah, let's go around the back. Switch. 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 Hinging at the waist, going through the legs. Switch. 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 And switch. All right, fall on the floor. So that's how the feet feel. Step on the ball right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each. Roll across the knuckles. And come on back to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes and roll across the top of the heel. Press down just below the first knuckle at the side of the top of the heel and the middle of the fifth metatarsal. Roll down each of the bones. And scribble. Three. Two, one, release, reassess, and go to the other foot, same thing. Rest down on each. Roll across. And roll across the top of the heel. Press in the three spots. Roll down the bone. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, 
get the ball out of the way, reassess and shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Mr. Doe, swing the arms. And center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine, step out, gather in starlight. Um, Sinker, same thing in the other direction. And center. Take sixteen or so steps forward. And then elbow towards the opposite knee. Tap the opposite heel in front. And in behind. And then forwards, cross step with the twist. And we'll walk or march or jog. And today we're going to do the unlock your tight hamstring routine. No rapid squats. We want to do those or anything else including what you're doing right now, be safe. I haven't done many years. 
hijacks for a while. So I'm going to try those. Thoroughly exhaust myself. And um, we've got, you know, what do we got? Five buttons in the next poll. Yes. What are you doing in five? Four. Three. Two. One. Two. And funny. Thirty. And take your deep breaths. Interlace the fingers. Or raise the hands up. Come up on your toes if you can. And come on back down. Bend back if you can. Come forward, drop one arm, bend in that direction. And then the other way. Come on back to center, interlace the hands again, fingers, and bring it down to the chest. Push out. Come on down, bring one hand on top, one hand below. You can use a strap or a belt or a towel, a cloth, whatever you have handy if you can't reach. Pull in opposite directions. And then the other way. And come back to center and shrug. Roll back. And forward. And then swim. And do a backstroke. And a breaststroke. Keep the arms extended and tap the shoulders. Bring one arm across the body and press in at or above the elbow. And the other one. First arm behind the back, pressing down in on the elbow. Then the other. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. Form a W, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Now release and squeeze. Release and squeeze.
and release, bring the hands down and rotate the neck. Go the other way. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Tuck in your chin, look in one direction. Drop the chin to the collarbone. Still tuck, look up. Back to center, tucked, look the other way. Drop it. Raise it up. Back to center and peck like a pigeon. And let's grab a stick. I'm going to start by putting it inside the arch of one foot, the other foot goes to the side, bend that knee and Stretch the adductor of the leg that has the stick in the arch. And then go the other way. <laughs> Got a lying cat blocking that a little bit. There we go. Yes, thank you. And come on up, bring one leg out in front, put the stick behind it, and stretch into that leg to release the hamstring. Come on up, press the sole of that foot against the stick. And then bring the other foot in front, stick behind, pinch at the waist. And the sole of that foot against the stick. Good, yeah, let's bring the stick behind. We're gonna do Dr. Lee's dynamic stick routine at or just below the shoulders, twist at the waist. If you want to, you can bring some steps in slowly. And stick up overhead and rock it side to side. And then below the waist. Bring it to one side. And then the other. We're going to bring it in front and paddle the kayak. Bring 
reverse direction. Bring it to the shoulders and flop the wrists. Drop down below the waist. And then above the head and below the waist. Stop at the shoulders, reverse the position of the hands, lock the wrists again. Go below the waist. And above the head and below the waist. I'm going to bring the stick behind the back again and twist again at the waist. We're going to be doing enough knee raises and so on that I'm not going to do a knee raise, but three, four. Let's pause and do some hip rotations. We'll just do six, only go as high as feels comfortable for you, alternating. And then bring the stick out in front, hold on with two hands, one hand, or a figure or two, step back, come up on your toes for 15, and hold. And then back on your heel for 15. And come on down, we can uh, put the stick down, unless you need it uh, for support, you might want to be next to a wall for some of these. Um, the first one is the heel, uh, the knee to chest walk, and you can do it with uh, standing still if you want, but if you can walk, do so and grab your knee when it comes up. I'm going to go backwards. You could turn around. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we go heel to seat walk. So you're coming behind you and grabbing it. Again, if you need to, stand still if you don't want to walk. Three. Nine. And ten. Now we're going to do the same thing in front. One. Two. 
nine and ten. And now put your hands on your hips and do some pelvic rolls. Two, three, four, five. nine and 10. Right, for this one, you wanna be next to a wall or a desk or a counter to hold on. We're gonna do um, some kicks. We're gonna come up to 90 degrees. We're gonna do a short kick, like about 45 degree and then extend it. And we're gonna do five of those on each leg. So you're holding on to something Bring your knee up about 90 degrees, short kick, mid kick, full kick, short kick, mid kick, full kick, short kick, mid kick, short, mid, full, short, mid, full, short, mid, full. And then the other foot, same thing. Up to 90, short, mid, full. I think that's four, short, mid, full. All right, and five. Okay, we're done with standing up and doing all those fancy things. We're gonna lie down, I'm gonna switch the camera. We'll be on our back. And we're going to bring one leg up, wrap your hands around the back of the thigh and hold and release. And then hold a little bit closer if you can and release. And a little bit closer if you can and release. One more time, no, two more times. And release. And final time. And release. And bring the other foot. Now, if you want to put the sole leaf foot on the floor, you can do that too, the, uh, of the leg that isn't in the air totally. All right, hold. And release. Bring it towards the chest and release. Squeeze and release two more times. In, release, and one more time. In and release. All right, we're gonna do some bridges. Bring your feet out quite a bit, enough that you can get up like so and do a bridge. But we're gonna bring them there, we're gonna bring them in, and then we're gonna really bring them in. So we'll do three on each up. One, two, three, and down. Up, one, two, three, and down, and up, two, three, and down. Bring it a little closer, bring your feet a little closer, up, two, three, and down, up, two, three, and down, up, two, three, and down, and then as close as you can to your glutes, up, two, three, and down. Up, two, three, and down. Last one. Up, two, three, and down. And let's stand up. All 
I'm gonna switch the camera back. And we'll do our breathing. We're doing four, four, six, two breath with movement. So to review, you're breathing in through your nose. And as you do, you're bringing your hands up over your head to the count of four. You're gonna hold for four with your um, uh, fingers clasped and your four fingers pointing up in the air. You're gonna release and breathe through your mouth or nose, coming down for the count of six. And then you're gonna hold for two before we repeat it. We'll do a total of four. So here we go. And rub those hands together. Generating chi and rubbing your chi ball. And the center, two breaths. Let us open our hearts. And pause on that inhale, exhale, send it out. And center, two breaths. And we're bringing down heavenly tree. And we're going to go down and scoop it up. And, uh, <laughs> All right. Whoever is uh, able, I'm going to do some Tom. five buttons. Yes, Nina. 
Take care. Have a good one. Thanks. You too. All right. Thanks, Tom. Um, You're thanks. welcome. You're, take care. You too. Um, I think I'll leave this camera on. We will either twist it to waist and swing the arms or do up to 11 spins. And then take two breaths. Yeah, we're going to move to the floor where I will meet you in a few seconds after changing the camera. Oh, hello. All right. Hands are by the side, usually, but if you need support in the back, put it underneath the arch of your back or behind your head if you need support at the neck. Head, neck, and shoulders come off the ground at the same time that the soles of your feet do in the modified version, wherever your hands are. If you want to do unmodified, the legs are extended and come up as head, neck, and shoulders come up. I'll do six modified five regular. One. And when you're done, take two breaths. We're going to get up on our knees. And on the hamstrings and the glutes. And you can just rock back from the knees. You can't do back extensions. But if you can, come back and go forward up to 11 pounds. Yeah. When you're done, take two breaths first, yeah. And then we're going to sit down. Hands could be behind you if you wanted a modified version. Otherwise, by the hips, go to the feet in the modified version as you come into an inverted table. Unmodified, the legs are extended. That's how I'm going to do it. Do whichever works for you or combine. Up to 11. One.
then take two breaths when you're done. And then we're going to come around on all fours. For the modified version, come up into a cobra, unmodified down dog into an up dog. I'll do six modified, five regular. Here we go. And come around. Cross your legs however feels comfortable this morning. And take your breaths. We are going to rotate six times in one direction, five in the other, either sitting up or bending down, hinging down. And then we're going to spore it out on the last round and do a round of box breathing, four in, four hold, four out, four hold, and then over the left knee, and then over the right knee. As you here we go. One. Stretch now around the box breath. Go to the left side. And to the right. Come it up. Switching the position of legs so that what was in front goes behind or what was on top goes on the bottom. I'm going to do five in the original, six in the reverse. And then follow with the box breathing. Rooting in front. Going left. Come 
Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Jonathan. Have a great day. Okay, you too. Will? Right. Richard, you all? Thank you, Tom. See you tomorrow. Great. See you then. Take care.